mid-June. It's great to be back in the newly refurbished office. And Robin and I just want to have a brief talk about how the current market is. So Robin, how's the market reacted to date? Well, property investors are currently closely monitoring the assets during the lockdown, looking for more opportunistic deals. And as lockdown conditions are relaxed, we anticipate liquidity to return for the primo assets and it'll be a slower process for the more value-add opportunities as investors wait to see the full impact upon the market. The clear winners are the online retailers, logistics, last mile delivery and the food stores, whilst High Street and the out-of-town retail have been the hardest hit. What we've seen from a valuation point of view that returns over the year for all property have been minus 4.1%, that's total returns, and that also equates to a capital for fall um, equivalent to 29 basis points increase. So in taking that into account, Robin, where do you see demand going for the rest of 2020? There is pent up demand for property investment at the moment. Uh, however, there's still a gulf between vendor expectations and price, uh, purchaser pricing. So there's ultimately going to be a flight to quality, whether that's income driven, covenant driven or sector driven. So looking forward, we're all feeling quite positive, but where do you see the buyers coming from? The majority of funds are currently unable to transact and when they do, we anticipate they will be net sellers of property where the property companies and the high net worths will be looking to buy property at discounted levels. Uh, the logistics and office markets won't be as impacted on as much as retail and the leisure sectors. Um, we believe there will be a widening gap between primary and secondary assets and one uh, set of investors such as the overseas um, clients will be coming to look at the UK market and take advantage of the weak pound.